Hello everybody, I am Redstone Crack, and this is Matt Making with Red, episode 4, I believe. So, um, it's been a while, but that's because there's been a lot of changes, and I got a ton of work done on the map. So, if I, there's a big change, first of all. The map's no longer in single player. It is now officially moved to the Minathon server. So, uh, as you can see, welcome, Saucy Bomb. That's my in-game Minecraft name, uh, to Minathon. So, this is Return to Hub. Apparently the redstone is off for now, but this is the Fast TP book. And these are all the games. So, there's Party Plaza, all these games, Rainbow Rampage, Rampage. And this is my game down here, Minor Mania. So, uh, yeah, that's Minor Mania, so... <laughs> Um, I'll give a short tour, but we want to get down to the good stuff, all the progress I made. So this is the spawn. There's a lot of really fun games, like Infected, Party Plaza, Rainbow Runner, the Screw Oot Parkour, Fling, I'm not sure what that one is. <laughs> That's Wood the Defense, I'm not sure what that one is. That's Paintball, uh, that's Guess Who. And, uh, yeah, there's other games. That's, uh, Midi Hockey, Block Hunt. So, yeah, it's, there's a lot of other Redstoners. And if I go to the Redstone, TP, is this already? So, as you can see, a lot of Redstone, a lot of work being put into this. And, uh, once again, the charity live stream is from August 30th to August 31st. It's 24, it's going to be a 24-hour live stream. And uh, this is my all the redstone. So it looks a little familiar, but there's a lot more stuff. And there's this thing over here. So I've, I've got a lot to cover. So first of all, you know that big rock thing in the single player map? Yeah, that's no more. Uh, there's a professional team of builders. They're going to be building it. And I decided not to make it just a thing of solid stone with random ores. Because... It's a little boring. I mean, I'm one of those people that, that's not a fan of strip mining. So, and I thought about it. It wouldn't be that fun just to be mining. And then every once in a while you run into people. So, they're going to be building really nice looking caves. And uh, there's four layers. And, yeah, I'm going to have, I have an idea of mine of how to make the ores randomly generated. This is what I wanted. This is what we'll get to later. And, uh... Yeah, so <laughs> there's a lot, lot going on. So, um, first of all, I want to say a few things of why I haven't made a map making episode in so long. First of all, I forget which snapshot it was. I think 23A or C or something. But I opened it in the map making because I want to try out the new detect command to make some more power-ups. So I went in right away, made it. And everything was like lagging, the command blocks weren't working right, the redstone was being weird, like the redstone was backwards and stuff. So I decided just to like go in because I found out that they released a C snapshot to fix a lot of the bugs. And then I opened it and uh, huge chunks of everything, the rock thing, the original map, huge, huge chunks taken out. Like there's just almost no more redstone. And so yeah... But luckily I made backup right before, but not a backup when it was actually good. A backup that was corrupted before I loaded the world. <laughs> so I had to use a TextLL, thank God, put a thing on Reddit where you had, it showed you how to fix all the IDs. So I, went, I spent like three hours in MC Edit trying to fix every type of block in here and trying to remember. The command blocks are all saved. And I'm really happy I had all these command blocks because the server, you know. And, uh, yeah, so I've got a lot more. All this stuff, basically from here to that side, is basically the same. I may have just, like, tweaked a few of these and tried to fix it a little. But this is where it gets a little different. So, uh, the TNT, as you remember, the Insta Bomb still works. I just have to get a redstone block to activate the redstone. Uh, oh, yeah, here. Okay, so, uh, there's a lot of power-ups right here. So, I, I added a lot of things. So, the Instabomb still works. 
Oh, I'm not on the team scoreboard. Teams join. Uh, there's a lot of scoreboard, so you have to do your uh, like whatever abbreviation you want in front of it. And then I did RDC for everything. Join RDC players. So now it should work. Yep. So again, when you place down the TNT, it blows up. Boom, boom. And it only works when you're on the team, so that's very good. And um, so we were working on the lens of seeing last episode, and that works. So all you have to do is put on a chain helmet. And uh, I think that's what you have to do. Hmm. Let me see. Um, it should be working. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't have the points. So scoreboard players set my name to RDC points. Sorry, I wasn't really prepared, but I wanted to get this episode out because it's been a while. So as you can see, someone has casted the lens of seeing and then after four seconds I'm not invisible anymore. And I tested it with other players. Uh you can see other players. So yeah. And um when I wanted to test out the detect feature before it got corrupted, I wanted to make landmines. And I have done that and uh they work hundred percent. So all you do is place down a stone pressure plate, step on it, boom. And you get three when you get the power up. Sorry, I'm lagging a little. But yeah, so I think it's really cool actually because you can like jump. So yeah, that's uh, I'm not going to show you all the commands uh, because it, there's a lot. But there's also one more thing I added. And that is skeleton allies. Now, this is the hardest thing to make, but I did it. And uh, so if I do scoreboard players set my name their rdc uh skelly i think to one so as you can see i'll get a melee skeleton and the range skeleton so when i place this guy down wait oh yeah i'll be right back i have to do something okay so i've done it i just had to summon a wolf real quick because it despawns and i'm gonna fix that later but if i place down the melee skeleton. As you can see, he has a sword. And if I go into survival, I forgot that. He will not attack me, so I can get up close. No attack. He's friendly. But he will attack other... Okay. Bad boy. So, yeah, he will attack you sometimes. And that's only if you get really up in his face. But he will attack other players. And he'll generally stay away from you. So, the same thing for the range skelly. No attack. And the range skelly is more friendly because, as you can see, he won't attack you. It's a little glitchy, and that's because there's a wolf. If I go into game mode 3, there's a wolf right here. So he follows you around. And so, yeah, uh, his name is RDC Wolf, and it only activates when I get close to him. So, uh, if you can see it over there. Yep, he's right over there. And then when I get close, he teleports over here. So yeah, um, it's supposed to scare the skeletons away so they don't come near you. But if you go up to them, then yeah, they'll attack you. But I don't think anybody's going to get up close because most likely you're just going to place them and run. So uh, let me kill them. And uh, this took me forever to make. It was really complicated. And uh, <laughs> like... About from that sign to all this stuff is the <laughs> skeletons, including all these command blocks back here. So yeah, it was really complicated, but I did it and uh, <laughs> it worked. So thank God for that. And I'll show you all the items. So uh, oh yeah, that's not important. Is that? Okay, so, yeah, I'm going to add uh, maybe custom colors to this, but here's the landmine, the insta-bomb, the lens of seeing. Yeah, I'll add colors to those. But there's also the trusty pickaxe, which 
is bold letters, has sharpness 1, so you can whack people with it. And I made a lot of changes to this command right over here, which gives you it, and it's really complicated. But I basically added a lot more blocks to break, because, like, only five blocks to break, which is stone, and then four ores. It was really limited, and the builders were like, uh, can we use other blocks? So I play, they placed the blocks at, to see if they wanted to use, and I just decided to do all of them because it's supposed to be a cave atmosphere, and why not? They can break them. I just said make sure the ores are, like, you know, the main thing because that's the whole point of the game. But um, actually, I think that's about it. I'm, I'm saying that's not all the things I did, but that's about it with this section, I think. Oh yeah, these I added a lot more scoreboards, and uh, I tested everything pretty thoroughly with multiple people. So, yeah, I think we're done with those power ups. The rest of these, I just wanted a few power ups that were really cool and fun. The rest of these, like, are gonna be like this. Like, I call this workout, which gives you haste until you die, and then the others are probably gonna just be. I might add one more, but the others are just gonna be either buffed pickaxes or maybe armor so yeah that's basically with it and uh right now this is like 40 this is uh 20 seconds every time it goes I'm, i might make it a minute because the game i've been having a lot of thoughts uh i think i'm gonna make it a 10 minute limit and then whoever has the most points wins and I'm gonna, <laughs> I had no idea how to do the most points, so I'm gonna look it up later. But I have, if that doesn't work and I have no idea how to do it, and uh, it's just really not working, then I'll do whoever gets to like uh, X amount of points first, because that's, that'll be more simpler. The only problem with that is that the games might run on, run on long. And <laughs> I'll show you with all this redstone does in a minute. So now that we're in the map area, if we head over here, this is the <laughs> current lobby right now. I've just been playing around. These are all really random command blocks. Uh, I don't know why I have that there. But basically, I got the right-click assign thing working. So if you look up there, I'm on team players right now. If I right-click, as you can see, that's the thing up here is going to be temporary that's just so I can see so as you can see when I click it it's gonna bring up the count by one and I'm gonna be teleported to different area but this is just so I can see it. and I can't right click it anymore just in case they somehow get back here I don't know so if I set it to zero scoreboard players set um, RDC join to zero and then I right click it then as you can see, it will get set to two, and this will be brought to two. If so, if I keep doing that, it will go three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, and so on and so on. And once I get to uh, about 16, which is going to be the max players, I'm probably going to have it, so... 10 players is the minimum to start, or maybe 8 or something. And then, once it gets to 16, it's full. So, as you can see, it's 16 players. So, if I right-click it... Oh, wait, no, I have to be have 0. So, this is if you didn't, didn't already click the sign, you're not in the game. If I right-click it, it will say, game is full. So, game is full. So, yeah. So, basically, anybody can join that didn't already click the sign and that when there's not 16 players so um yeah that's pretty much what I did and I had it's took me forever to figure this out so much like in between stuff these are all the test command blocks and uh yeah there's a there's an easier way of doing it but I'll show you what I did so if we head up here this is basically all of it. This is all for that one sign. <laughs> it hurts. Okay. So, I also added these four command blocks. So, you get a point every time you get a kill. And it removes your score. And then when you die, you lose points. Only ten. And, yeah. So, then the rest of these is basically 
I made it so the sign by default, when you right click it, it sets your score of RDC join up there to 1. And then if it de detects a player who has a min score of 1 or the max score of 1, it will then uh, set block a sign that will set your score to 2 the next time you click it. And it shows 1 out of 16 instead of 0 out of 16. And then it will also teleport that squid over there, which is invisible, I think, or just died. And uh, it will teleport it one this way. And it basically does that for every single one. For It will set it to three when there's two players in, set it to four when there's four, three players in. So every time a player joins, it gets set. So the next time a player clicks it, their score gets set to that certain amount. So then there's 16 spaces here, one for every pretend player that there's going to be. Uh, this is what I was going to do. I'll show that later. But there was a squid here before with a RDC squid name. And basically, it's going to be teleported every time here. Every time somebody joins. So if, if, it's like, if there's only nine people currently, it will be here. So when somebody leaves then I'm going to do it so it teleports it one back and then it's going to set a redstone block right at the squid so then it will set the sign that has 8 out of 16 people instead of 9 so and also anybody whose score was higher than the person who left they will be subtracted one score so it, everything will keep going so if player 8 leaves then and there's about 12 people in it then 9 10 11 12 will be 12 will become 11 11 will become 10 10 will become 9 9 will become 8 the new 8 and then the squid which would be at 12 it would say there was 12 out of 16 people then it will be moved one block over place the redstone block and then it will say 11 out of 16 people so <laughs> I didn't set it up all yet, but that's basically my logic behind it because the leaving system I was having trouble with because of that thing. Like if, if there's like 16 people and then player like 10 leaves, then it's, it would be difficult to figure out which player left and make everybody, you know, <laughs> it's all complicated stuff. But uh, yeah, this episode is running really long, but... That's basically all the stuff I did. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, more, Even more progress will be done next episode. Maybe even the map will be finished. Who knows? But, yeah, that's all for the lobby. The lobby of the game. And then the map, I think, is working pretty well. All I have to do is make it so when somebody... All I have to do is basically do the winning system, and then I'm done with the actual map. And then the lobby, I want to make that look all fancy and stuff. So, yeah, that's basically it. Thanks for watching.